Hello, this is T. I'm here today to show you guys how to install Windows Server 2019 on Windows 10 using Hyper-V. So the first thing you should check is to make sure Hyper-V is enabled on your Windows 10 machine. So you click on the Windows icon right here and then type in turn Windows feature on and off. From here, you'll see Hyper-V. If this is not checked, you're gonna have to check this, click OK, which will install Hyper-V and it'll ask you to reboot your PC. So once you are back on the PC here, you can click on the Windows icon again, and let's look for Hyper-V Manager. All right, here is the console. I'm gonna make this full screen right here. This is the first time I'm gonna be doing this, so bear with me here. So I'm assuming we'll just click New, Virtual Machine. From here, we'll start our wizard. We'll click Next. And we are going to set up, a, let's say, a brand new Windows Server 2019 that I'm going to call this DC1, which I'm going to plan to make it a domain controller. All right. I'm going to store this somewhere else here. Let's say I'm going to put it on the C drive. I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call this Virtual Machines. And from here, this is where this virtual machine is going to live. All right. We'll click next. All right. Let's see. What is this generation for the virtual machine? This virtual machine generates supports 32 and 64. Provides virtual. All right. Generation two. This virtual machine generates provides support for newer virtualization feature and has UEFI based firmware. Let's go with generation two. Let's go with the latest and greatest. Next. All right, startup memory. Mm, let's go with two gigs, 2048. Dynamic memory for this virtual machine. So I'm just gonna leave this checked by default here. Next, connection. Let's just say default for now. We we'll might have to change this afterwards. Okay. As you can see, it's going to create a brand new virtual hard drive, DC1.VHX, VHDX. It's going to put in this virtual machine folder, DC, perfect, looks great, 127 gigs. I'm fine with that. Click Next. And we are going to install an operating system for from a bootable image file. I've already downloaded the Windows 7. Uh, no, actually Windows... 2019 right here this is the iso file we'll click next everything looks good let's click finish well that was pretty fast so it looks like this virtual machine is already connected let's say what do we do we click connect all right this pops up let's click start here we go press any key let's press any key it's pretty cool. Here we go. Ah, oh, this is pretty fast. So looks good. We'll click install. Set up a starting. Come on. All right. We want the desktop experience. We want the full GUI, the UI interface. So we'll click next. I accept next I always like to go custom so I can see it as unallocated space and then once you click next it should automatically do its thing now it's gonna copy Windows getting files ready for installation all these steps should go pretty fast here I'm hoping come on So all this time I've got to play some music here. I'm going to start some music here. Okay, that's a little too loud. Here we go. Let's bring this down a little bit. Okay, it looks like it's about 40% now.
So I'm used to installing virtual machines on uh, VMware Workstation or VirtualBox. This is my first time installing on um, Hyper-V. Okay, looks like we're about to be done here. Windows needs to restart to continue. It's looking good. All right, it's getting ready. Come on, should be any day now. Okay, let's create our password for our first user account for administrator. Okay, click finish. Finalizing your settings. Okay, I think we can increase this a little bit bigger. Let's try that. Not bad. Looks like it's a great size. Let's log in here. Nope, if I type it correctly. Looks good. All right, we don't need to, we can say no for this for now. We don't need to search our network. All right, I think server manager is about to pop up here. Yeah, we don't care for this right now. Okay, look at that. Server manager dashboard is up and running. This PC is up. Let's see. Let's open the command prompt and check out IP. What, what do we got here? Okay. Let's see, can we get to the internet? Let's ping Google, wow. All right, we got a response. Let's open this. Okay, fine. Google. Okay, let's add this. It's good. Perfect. We are in business. Windows Server 2019 is installed on Windows 10 machine. I'm using Hyper-V. And it looks great. It's fast. All right. Well, that's it for now.